Hello everybody, welcome to the losers final. Oh, we've got, we're gonna need some broccoli because there's a get the ref. <laughs> um, th this is what, this is the losers final of Blitzpit. As you can see, we've got a stacked commentary box. We've got Dionysian, hello. He's not saying hello. Gorilla Mezzo, yeah. hello. Hello, hello, I'll speak enough for the both of us. Gorilla Mezzo in the house, we've got a JFW invasion of the Blitzpit again. And we are going into our finals in the loser's bracket. Crucifer versus k folks squaring down Dark Elves versus Chorps. We just saw an epic game between Wolfbark, who is awaiting in the finals against PTK, ended on kicks. Will we see Chorps versus Chorps, or will we get a rematch of that exquisite game? Find out in just a few minutes. Because this is a one-minute tournament, folks. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a few minutes, like about a hundred. <laughs> and here's Rick as well. Hello. Emotions high, emotions low, emotions everywhere in between. Ooh, yeah, Jim. <laughs> Glories, I should have used Cowboy Rick. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, glorious. Yeah, so another Chorf game, and I mean, PTK hasn't had a lot of time between these, has he? Uh, the Crucifer game ended earlier, didn't it? And... didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty much a walkover. Yeah. Yeah, Crucifer's had quite a bit of time. It was, yeah, really quick. So yeah, Crucifer had quite a bit of uh, time to recover here. Yeah, now this is... Uh, so PTK's just finished that, like, grueling match. And then he's just straight in for another one. This is a big advantage to Crucifer on, on that basis, I would say. He's not going to be happy to see the get the ref either, Core, because uh, obviously Crucifer's got the bash team. Crucifer's got the offense, so the first chance to be using it as well. Crucifer's got the 40k lineman compared to the 70k. So uh, get the ref all going in the chalk favor. However, um, as PTK well knows in his match against... In his match against Wolfpark, Wolfpark fouled the guard guy for three turns, gang fouled him for three turns, did absolutely nothing, and then when the guard attempted to dodge, he failed and KO'd himself. <laughs> <laughs> so PTK, probably more scared of failed dodgers than gang fouls. <laughs> he blitzed, uh, blitzed the uh, blocker there, didn't he, rather than, the, uh, rather than going for the tender meat of the hobgoblin. Interesting. Yeah, early early high risk high reward strategies. Obviously, if he could chip a tackle piece, it would be insanely insanely big. But uh, yeah, you'd think early on it's it's nice to try and pick off some uh, AV sevens. This is pretty good for core. Gets defense, no removals on the line of scrimmage. And still no removals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought I thought Dio kind of cursed him there for a second when that armor <laughs> break happened. <laughs> so did I for sure. I thought, oh my god, what a thing to say! <laughs> Instant full cast, but no, he's still uh, having the ball and a block break tackle strength four is pretty amazing, isn't it? It's going to be hard to uh, hard to stop this tutty, you would think. And a, what's this? A four assist foul? Pretty big. Yeah, it's it's a shame that the Dark Elves can't fit a strip ball in. It works so well on elf teams, and uh, you die for a strip ball against this ball. Ooh, got him. That's the bribe gone though. Yep. Not a full run. He wouldn't have been caught if he, if there'd been a full run up. <laughs> Guaranteed. So, I mean, that's okay, though, isn't it? That's just a kickoff return. I get, maybe he would have kick kickoff result. Maybe he would have made those fouls anyway without the get the ref. But um, anybody tempted to to apo there to keep yourself on eleven players for the game, or is this just too early for alignment? I think it's too early for alignment. Yeah, I think it was like second half he would have done or something, or like you know later in the half. But I think it's pretty early for a final, isn't it? Hundred percent apo for me. 100% Apple. Wow. Controversial. I'm pretty aggressive with the Apple. With 11 men in a NAF style tournament. Yeah, fair enough. There's no guarantee that the that anyone else gets cast. 
or that when they are cast it's not a four plus so yeah fair enough I don't know, I'd be more inclined to use it on a on a key KO or a, just a later cast. Pretty rough to use it turn two, isn't it? I mean, yeah, you, you'll obviously regret it if he ends up taking out your best pieces, but you can, for the most part, uh, protect them in the early stages with your lineman at least. Saying that, no, he, he does have, if he wants to, claw my blow hit on the tackle and the, uh, the sidestepper. Yeah, I'd go for the sidestep because it doesn't really matter if he sidesteps. So I'd go for that. Yeah, and we saw what a problem the sidestep could be last game, whereas tackle obviously means zero to the Chorps this game. They've got no dodge at all. Yeah. Yeah, I remember just just the other day I played a, a, played a game against Fatten and uh, every turn I was blitzing his sidestep as that he was like, you know, leaving in that kind of spot. He's like, Blitz is a sidestepper again. I'm like, well, yeah, you're giving up a really good player to punch, and I don't care where he sidesteps. I mean, he sidestepped to where he would have gone if without sidestep there, didn't he? Um, I don't care Still where he sidesteps. I just want to remove him. <laughs> See, I think a, an apple on that an apple on that KO would have maybe been better than an apple on the uh, on the Kaz. But he hasn't he hasn't appled that either. Arkell's playing for overtime against Chorfs. I'm not sure that's. <laughs> That's brilliant. Mm. Well, it worked out uh, pretty well for him last game. <laughs> it did, yeah. <laughs> mm. I'm still pretty in awe of how that all played out, though. That was a hell of an overtime. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. Um, would it? Would any of you? If you had known exactly how bash heavy this uh, meta was going to be, would you have considered not taking tackle for once on on a team like Dark Elves? Oh yeah. The uh, problem is he doesn't have two witches, does he? If he could, if he'd had two witches, he could have gone to wrestle or something, and then he wouldn't have uh, even wanted the tackle, would he? But I mean, if you know, if you're pretty certain, I mean, Dio's the best at this. Pretty, uh, pretty undisputedly, Dio's the best at predicting the meta. And uh, if you predict there's not going to be many, uh, many elves or any elves, then absolutely you're not going to go attack, are you? I don't think I would have the balls to play dark elves, knowing how much bash there was. If I had a, a way of knowing how much bash there was going to be. That's true. Yeah. If you, uh, that's true. So yeah, the taking the dark elves is almost predicated upon the fact that there will be elves. Therefore, you will need tackle, I guess, right? You know what Core's backup race was, wouldn't you? If he hadn't taken dark elves, what he would have taken? Chorfs. Zons. Zons <laughs> is what I was going to say. Yeah. Yep. Well, he would have played less blood bowl probably. <laughs> <laughs> so that would have been a plus. <laughs> yeah, he would have he would have run into a lot of tackle from the dwarf and dwarf <laughs> teams out there. Um, I think it was. I think Gdynik just makes them all himself off bark. Um, listening to his podcast with well, vodcast with Rick. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just it's Gdynik makes them. He makes a few teams up, sees what he likes, and you know he says he hasn't got it so wrong yet. It's a pretty good representation of what was said, I think. This consortium. Yeah, Chorps and Dwarves. Maybe we've been unlucky with who we've seen, to be fair. But yeah, there's, there was definitely a lot of Chorps and Dwarves, wasn't there? Yeah. What would you have brought, Jim? Because you normally bring Dark Elves to Blitz Pit. I've got no idea what the rules were. Um, I'll be honest. <laughs> I mean, I'm He's been paying close attention to the game, so he knows exactly what the uh, the builds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I would have taken a chaos dwarf team with a block guard bull centaur and a block break tackle bull centaur <laughs> and a claw mighty chaff blocker and then four guard chaffs and a reserve and three rerolls. How's that sound? <laughs> uh, I mean, hey, you know, based on results. Sounds like it would uh, go pretty well for you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Is one of those two people uh, J5, Marzum? <laughs> I 
Pebble saying he thinks uh, K Fools played brilliantly with Dark Elves, and, and undoubtedly so. Like the fact that he's uh, here now is a testament to his skill with them. Ooh, reroll yet? Yep. Interesting. He, he is down this this dude over here, isn't he? He's not going to make a lot of difference. And uh, I guess he doesn't care so much. Oh, he's got the bribe, hasn't he? We're going to see a bull foul. I don't think so. No, I don't think he can... Because <laughs> he's got the defensive, he's got the defensive assist. I think without the defensive assist, I think I would have, I would have said yes. Yeah. Because you're giving an assist there, like you know, the guard stands up and you're giving away a two D. I think if he'd had the the other guy base in the hobbler as well, I think I would have expected it, but I was surprised with that. To be honest, but there you go, Rick, Rick, Rick knows blood ball. <laughs> well, it worked out as expected, though. He rolled a five and needed a nine, so. <laughs> At least he didn't uh, lose his bribe. Well, that indicates that Core thinks he's quite a long way behind at the moment and doesn't have much of a chance. Yeah, yeah, maybe. And you know how much of that is going to be mental after just finishing that crazy match against Wolfgang? Yeah. It's a tough situation for him, for sure. Probably should have taken a little bit longer than what he did take between matches. And this one off to a worse start for him, too, with that Kaz. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's it's it is it is hard to make rules like for blitz pit and stuff for sure. Because you're generally gonna make it all elves or all dwarves, aren't you? There's not a lot in between, basically. <laughs> like I think that's fair to say. I think that's fair to say that you that when you make the rules for blitz pit you're gonna you know just because they're the kind of big races aren't they or dwarves and elves and you're generally gonna make it better for one <laughs> and not so good for the others well uh, overtime format in itself really suits the bash teams um and in fact i'd be interested to know if dio is making the, a, a tournament like this would you tier it so that it slightly uh favor the uh the agility teams more than it would in other formats like like a regular nav format without overtime here he's done that in some of the rule sets okay he's done that with the elves moving down into a lower the tier than they would be otherwise plus the races like dwarves etc are easier to play at one minute than the elves elves are one of the harder teams to play at one minute yeah how about some nav tournaments not very <laughs> They're pretty much always dominated by like the big four, aren't they? Um, or five, whatever. <laughs> this uh, bull's putting in a shift over there, holding up a lot of that team. Yep, and this is definitely this is definitely going to be exacerbated in this because everyone's good, right? At least if you've got two hundred people playing at a blood bowl tournament, you're going to have a bunch of people who just like orcs or whatever and will use orcs. But when you've got Blitzfit, you've got 16 people who, who know how to play and <laughs> are going to try and take whatever they think is the absolute best thing. And it's not surprising they're going to come to the same conclusions a decent chunk of the time, is it? Gets to move forward here, doesn't he? With this, uh, just, just needs a push to move forward. Mm. Interesting. Maybe it's a bit of a mistake by PTK there, leaving that, that gap. Well, like, like Screw has said, the bull put in a bit of a shift, and I think what he was really saying was partly that Core got some pretty bad dice trying to hit it, uh, so it, it ended up uh, yeah. costing him some pieces. And if he had got it down, he still got the buy, but it would have been a really, really nice foul on a very important piece. And I think in quite early in the game, uh, it's it's worth Core trying to do that. So he's been a little bit unlucky. Uh, the only thing I'll say, though, is if going up the middle like he's doing does kind of keep all those players you know that are around that bull on the right there more relevant than if he'd gone through like uh the linemen over on the on the in the left wing here and kind of gone up there with most of his players stretch out those elves a little bit they're not that fast 
Yeah, they're fast enough, though, aren't they? That's it. You you need to get forward. Like I think that's the biggest thing. You, yes, you can move laterally if you have to, but you've got to push forward. I think when you can, and this this is letting him, letting him push forward quite strongly, isn't it? Even if he's not like moving the ball in there, mm. he's at least getting forward so that, like, if he did go one side, the elves would get there better than he would. <laughs> <laughs> Being How much does Claw dislike the Claw Mighty Blowpiece? Because uh, Charisma isn't, one gonna, isn't really going to want to score next turn, which gives Claw a turn to come and hit it. It's already basing an Elf. He can hit it again with the Blitz, uh, and, and maybe, or he can Blitz the Guard and then hit it with the Elf it's basing, and then uh, put in a big gang foul. Well, it looks like he's protected him a little bit there. Yeah, he's going to have to use the Blitz now on the on the Guard piece. Oh, yeah, and, and then now he's dodged the Hobgoblin to avoid yeah, exactly that. Been... Yeah, he had the re-roll, so yeah, this is looking pretty good, isn't it? So he's got the screen, he's got them back there. He can he's keeping the whole team in one mass, and is pretty good, pretty good. That is in a, a good point. the ball. <laughs> that is a good point, Marzen. If you go to TT, you have to paint the team or like source the team in some in some way. So yeah, whereas here, there's absolutely no cost to using any any team. Oh, frenzy trap. Yeah. PTK secret secret necromantic coach. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get to see a deer med game? Because he was using his wolf, his one wolf, pretty well. Yeah, did see one match, and he did a few. Uh, he did a few uh, things where he didn't dodge. He did like do frenzy traps, and then didn't dodge away like they normally dodge away. Um, and then luckily didn't get him cast. <laughs> he had a nice one, I believe it was against Andy that I caught uh, during the break, <clears throat> where he used uh, he he used that chain into uh, his stand firm fleshy really effectively uh, with the wolf, which I really liked because most people I feel like wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's better than most. Yeah. Um, I mean that's the thing in it. That's the thing with with. Uh, with wolves that they do have to do frenzy traps sometimes don't they but not always it's not the right play as often as you see it happen yeah <laughs> oh is he gonna he's gonna cage all the way up there i guess he is hmm. Looks like he did think that Chorf had guard, yeah. I do that sometimes, I think. <laughs> I, put, I mean, he had to put him in to cancel this defensive assist. But I often do that where I think people have guard just because, like, why don't... He's a dwarf, of course he's got guard. <laughs> Great this, isn't it? See, so at last turn he put those guys forward. This turn he uses them to cage right on the line. Brilliant stuff from Crucifer. And... Maybe he did think that had guard. Maybe not, though, because he would have put, had to put him in there anyway. This is actually going okay for Core, though, isn't it? Don't you think? He's only got the one permanent removal. He's got his one-turn attempt, his drive, and then win the flip. Yeah, it hasn't gone terribly. But, I mean, he could have stopped it scoring, couldn't it, on another day? Like, getting score on turn eight is never, <laughs> is never ideal, is it? But if you are going no, to get there's no, the yeah, no, no inducements, Muppet. No, yeah, no. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's the thing. If you're going to get scored against on turn eight, you might as well have not taken much damage. <laughs> two uh, two five-plus dodges, you can serve the ball carrier. <laughs> I like it. Classic Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you mean, but... So if you put uh, somebody... Oh, we might be... Oh, no, yeah, he's just he's done it, hasn't he? He's just gone in for the uphill sack and he's got him. He's got him, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this will uh, spice things up for the last turn here. Oh, <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, very similar result to uh, what happened in the last game to Cora, too. Yeah, exactly, side so telling that to us that you can't surf him because it would just be a touchdown, wouldn't it? 
but uh, this is there might be a chain on here isn't there that's I guess that's the only thing that PTK has got to be careful of well there's still a, uh, there's a chain on isn't there he's got just to push him and then power him and then he's free or he could do it there's a number of things he can do and get this guy in so he, there's, he can do it a million ways there's a million ways he can get the a surf or anything here. Just whatever he thinks is best. He's got, he's got probably got a blitz this guy, hasn't he? I guess with a whole goblin. This is pretty nice. It's ugly if it doesn't power that. Oh, oh I, I didn't like doing it that way at all. Oh, I don't oh, like that no. at all. Oh, boy. No, the, the way it was to... You can him, though, can't he? No, no, no. no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he can. Yeah, he can still chain him. He can yeah. still chain him away. Yeah, he's still got the guard there. Yeah. yeah. And he can make it two dice. Yeah, nice. Shouldn't have re-rolled then, should he? That was... Uh... Oh. That's actually not two dice yet. He's got he's to bring that up. Yeah, he's got guard. Yeah. Yeah, oh, guard, yeah. Easy to do. Okay, well, he had guard as well. He just didn't use it. <laughs> no, no! Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Well, now <laughs> this has just gone great for gay folk. Yeah, I think he I think he did the wrong thing there. I think it would have been better to come around the other side. Oh, <laughs> But either way, it was pretty unlucky to roll like six pushes, wasn't it, basically? But, but, cool, I'm really actually going to suggest in the first place, right? If the chorf doesn't catch it, elves have a very good chance of getting it and mobbing it away. Yeah, mm. I was going to suggest on that play the assist to uh, the the assist that he brought in on uh, the guard dodger, the blotch guarder there should have been from the from the chorf that was free with guard, so he could keep that he could keep that hobgoblin in the end zone to catch a bobble if he had to fill a dodge. Oh yeah, yeah, but, very uh, good. I wasn't quick enough to suggest it uh, before it happened, so I get no credit. You do. You do. Damn right I do, Jim. Damn right I do. <laughs> it should have 100% saved it um, for the fact that he had the follow-up block. He, he, maybe he didn't realize he had the follow-up block to, to chain free, but he should have saved it 100%, shouldn't he? Now, the one silver lining here is, uh, as we talked about before, Jim, those two KOs uh, rolls become one KO roll. If he, if he botches both of them, he's going to be down three players to start his drive, which isn't great. Yeah. It's elves, true. but it's still not great. Probably yeah. better than the touchdown. Well, yeah. Yeah, because you can always take the quick score. It's very, very hard, even with those Batman advantages, to stop the quicker score from the Dark Elves. You can maybe force the score quicker, but at nil-nil, you're ha much happier to take the quick score and then to maybe stop the chores from scoring uh, to win in regular time, right? And with a guaranteed overtime. Yeah. Yeah, and once again, of course, I'm not banging on Christopher or, or anything <laughs> because it is brutal with quick turns. It's hard, it's hard to really hold anyone too accountable for getting... You know, a five plus dodge and a red D. Yeah. That works. That's what elves do though, they just keep everyone alive and then you've got your forty four percent dodge and your twenty five percent sack. Absolutely. And, uh, so he's got nine. Could get tricky. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I, I do agree with Dio. This is a better spot to be in than the alternative, but <laughs> still, still sucks, you know, being down multiple players on a team that uh, can at any point remove another one of your players. Yeah, and look, that's one of the worst players to be missing as well for holding yeah. out this drive. Yep, Absolutely. Fun, funnily enough, this is exactly the guy who I said he could have maybe his power up or isn't it? I would have rather power up or him than up or the badly hurt. And as it happens. He doesn't have this guy for the second half, and he would have done if he power up on him, wouldn't he? I agree with you completely, but we don't know that it's that guy that's going to get KO'd. Oh, no, no, he did get KO'd. Like, that's what I mean, yeah, I would have saved it for a... Kaz, you know, after post-Kaz, saying that you have an Apo the Kaz, then just the decision on Apo in the KO or not. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I would not have Apo the Kaz, and then I would have saved it. That's literally exactly what I said. I would save it for an important player getting KO'd. Um, 
would have been would have been more what I would have wanted to have done, which ended up would have been good. I'm not saying that I would have done. I'm not saying that I would have power rappled it, but I would have rather power rappled the KO than the Kaz. Pretty nice riot for K folk there. Yeah, it's probably good, isn't it? Putting the guard on the other. Well, the hobgoblins this time, because he turned that down in the first half. He might not even be able to make a blitz at all, PTK. Yeah. Blitz with a guarder. After after watching his first game, I reckon he'll blitz with the guard. Blitzer. Yeah, I like that. Frees everyone up. Not one for maximizing blocks at all. PTK. On offense, at least. Well, it's not what you're trying to do in this matchup, is it? You're, you're just uh, minimizing blocks taken. I still would have done it. There were some things that he did in the first half that, uh, that I found surprising. Like, yeah, that's it. That's all I, that's all I can say. <laughs> I'm certainly not saying I know better. <laughs> and PTK himself. Herb derp time. Is there ever a herb derp time? Probably, probably not. Mm, well, <laughs> <laughs> you may be proven incorrect here, Jim. <laughs> I don't think that was the guy to blitz. If you were going to herb derp, I would have blitzed this blitzer. I, I actually really agree with you. I was thinking when I saw him line up that blitz, I was like, oh, he's not going to base the ball up. Because yeah. I was also going to make a Herb Derp joke. And uh, nope, here we go. Yeah, that would have been the blitz for me if I was going to Herb Derp. Because now you've left two people completely free. Hmm. There you go, Dimmy G, better at Blood Bowl than me, confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> And math. Oh, that goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> Normally you've got a 33% chance at best at beat Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> a plus stat dwarf runner. Yeah, why not NB? I mean, K-Vogue hasn't put anyone on the ground this half. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, it puts your core over there. So you can scoot away from them. The Dark Elf run is quite, quite advanced there, isn't it? Yeah, I, th I mean, I think he's got to be. I don't think there's any cost... Like, you know, this this threatens the going around and turning the corner, doesn't it? Whereas, otherwise, you wouldn't be able to. Cheeky little maneuvering there by that blitzer. Yeah, what a dirty Dino, eh? Three plus dodges, GFIs, everything. Does he dodge through the LOS here? No. <laughs> I thought he might have gone for the stupid 442. That, like, you know, it could work, couldn't it? It's really good if it does. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. <laughs> like, it is really good. Probably won't work, but if it does work, you're really happy. Yeah, he wouldn't. Have, he wouldn't have passed any dodge. <laughs> no, the no. And the follow-up one, he rolled. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Do you find yourself slamming pieces through the line of scrimmage often, then, Jim? <laughs> No, I just thought then the way the way he'd done all these rolls to get this guy up, you know, I thought uh, 
getting the blister in front. I thought he might have. I thought he might have tried. I, I do tend to try kind of dumb shit like that with elves a decent chunk of the time. Yeah, I do. I often think if it doesn't work, I don't care, and if it does work, it's amazing. So I'll try it. <laughs> tend to not try it with any race except elves because elves are the ones that seem to have the least, the like the least bad failure states when the dumb shit doesn't work. <laughs> As well as obviously being way better at it, but like a four, I wouldn't dream of doing a four plus four plus move with a with a non elf. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I would be like, God, that's crazy. But when I've got elves, I'm like, yeah, I'll go for that. And invariably, the two four pluses would work, and then the two plus would be a one. It should also be pointed out that Jim doesn't do that with his pieces because his pieces are players. <laughs> yes. Yes, did Dio say peace, did he? He, he did, he did. Oh, he's one of those. <laughs> yeah. Solving the, mystery, those. solving the mystery of earlier when I inexplicably said it, I never say it, but I had just been watching the game that you and Demi had covered right before the broadcast and it got in my head. <laughs> Oh, he picks off a hobble with a brutal stun. So oh, it looks like we're just going backwards here as the elves. Yep. Yeah, back to the middle. Get pushing and pulling, just like Skuro. <laughs> it's a little bit late in the day uh, for that now, Jim. Uh -huh. That's a morning. It's a morning activity. Oh, okay. Get you started fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, Kador rating me with 182 viewers that might be brand new to Blitzpit. Where do we start with that? <laughs> oh wow. dear. Well, I think we gotta start off by telling them about the commentary of the JFW. If you don't know what that means, head to JimmyFantastic.com. Look for all of his JFW content and that'll get you up to speed with all the action. <laughs> Fantastic. Gorilla Checks Metzo. in the mail for me, right, Jim? <laughs> oh, brilliant stuff, Gorilla Metzo. You're the greatest. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank, you, thank you very much, Kanor. Uh, very big welcome to Kanor viewers. So we're, we're currently watching um, very late in the day in a tournament created by Gdanik. So it's one minute turns. It's 16 of the best coaches in Blood Bowl uh, invited to play. And, uh, and it's res format. So uh, this is currently the effectively the semi-final. The winner of this is going to go on to play for the title of Blitzbit champion. We've got uh, K-Fool in one corner. He's uh, the tabletop world number one. Crucifer uh, has previously won Blitzbit, also multiple times CCL winner. So two real heavyweights going at it here. Uh, it's nil-nil after the Chorbs drive. So the Dark Elves have the ball, but the Chorbs do have a two-man advantage. Uh, and that's that's pretty much where we're up to. Thank you again, Kanor. So it's myself, it's Jimmy Fantastic, it's Skuramezo, and it's uh, Dionysian on the commentary for, for this and the following game. And now he's another man down after that surf. Yep. So three men down. Ah, but he's two men overall. No, he's three men because he's got a reserve. Three men down. Tricky. If you want to get caught up on this game, the Chorfs failed to score in the first half, took some extra shenanigans by the Elves very late in the drive, unable to score. So now we're just watching these Dark Elves. Their numbers are dwindling, but all they got to do is make it through uh, four turns and put that ball in the end zone, and they will be going to the finals most likely. Yeah, almost certainly if they score, yeah. yeah. And, and it's interesting that has been a riot or an insane uh, one turn uh, to make up for it. Yeah, or a riot. There's already been one riot, yeah. uh, which is why. That's why I said uh, a riot or an insane one turn. Oh, I thought you saw <laughs> another riot. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, 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 fair enough, fair enough. I think we're seeing the demise of the Russian menace here. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't. I, I like. It's obviously not good for him, but I think he could do it. He forced the dark elves backwards a couple of turns ago, and then the turn afterwards, he served the dark elf. He's doing about as well as can be asked of him. It's definitely not over. Yeah.
Do you not have Russians in JFW yet? Because surely you need you need villains. Uh, <laughs> we've got Jimmy Minmax Tastic as a villain. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, we've got uh, a Zunger who's a Finnish Russian. Uh, Finnish Russian, yeah. <laughs> who hasn't been on TV in months? <laughs> yeah, and we've got three Welsh guys. They they're the real villains. Yeah, the, the crew spelled C R capital E W E. The crew, get it? Because you crew. Yeah. Yeah, I did see that Jimmy had aged one of the. It aged their star about twenty thirty years. <laughs> <laughs> And also, we've got we've got the real bad guys are the uh, Norse sea nuts, aren't they? The Canuts, yeah. The Canuts. But what we don't have, yeah, we don't have Crucifer in the JFW. We do, however, have PTK, Prime Time Kev, one half of the tag team phenoms, Donsk Donsk Revolution, him and Z Talk the Dame teaming up, uh, really trying to climb that ladder. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Where's the blitz coming then? Is he? He's just blocked the route. I don't like to have seen the chorf go and mark the uh, the oh, guard God. blitzer. I think the more tackling contact with the dodge, the better here. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Bad mistake. You don't roll double ones. That is schoolboy uh, error. Really. It had to make the GFIs, Jim. <laughs> so he, he must have to... been GFIing the last chore. Because otherwise you've got to move in first, right? And now he's horribly out of position. Yep. Yeah, he's, now, he's uh, almost certainly going to GFI him, yeah. Nice little avenue through. Is he going to dodge? Probably. Yeah, I was just wondering that. He is and he fails it. He's got to re-roll it. Absolutely does. <laughs> Scary times for both teams now. And kick equity back to evens. Mm. Just as Kayful likes it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Seems like an odd square for the witch, doesn't it? Surely it should be one over to the side. Uh... One over into the middle. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I can't see why, sorry, Dion. It's, it's just a better screen. Now he can slot the guard. He can slot a guard in between the witch and the lino, tagging out the lino as he goes through the witch or goes through the lino. Oh, yeah. There's going to be additional wide, dodges wide afterwards. Screen. Yeah, nice. I mean, does he? maybe he was fearing the break tackle. You could still... You could still try it, couldn't you? You could still try the break tackle here, but the witch is making it harder. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, you're right, that has compensations, because if he rolls a natural four to start with, then he's still got it. You can even try and block it for it. Whoop. Oh, oh, boy. Looking real bad for Crucible. Desperate times, yeah. But here comes the break tackle blitz. We've seen that in matches before, Jim. <laughs> yeah, and that's exactly what Dior said. The guard getting in on both of them. Not blitzing the claw mighty, so maybe he is going to go for the... Uh... I don't know what he's going to... What, what's his blitz going to be? Break tackle bullsa. I agree. If he pops break tackle, he might just take it on the, the lineman and uh, base the ball. But now it's a harder dodge because of where he's put the guard. Oh yeah, it is a harder dodge. Yeah, you're right. Oh no, he's coming in from the top here. Oh, going Not going to see the break tackle ball yeah. sack, also known as the Rocky oh. Mount Mountain ball sack. <laughs> oh, one D skull. Dump off declined. Oof. Good decision to decline it too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly enough. <laughs> and I think it's just about all over, but the crying here. Yeah. Poor old PTK having to play Chorfs three times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, uh, we are all rewarded for it because that last match between Wolfbark and PTK deserved a second showing, and we're about to get it. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do the classic. I had to do the classic JFW commentary there. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so uh so yeah stick around is that is there a break before that game or do we go right into it right into it scar oh boy man ptk <laughs> if he if he can pull out a win in this tournament uh it will be a uh it will be a pretty uh, herculean effort of uh of endurance <laughs> yeah i mean you can have a few minutes in between but yeah not like an hour or anything whoever wins is going to be a first time winner yeah i mean again barring anything crazy from the chorfs on uh their turn 16 uh kickoff wolf, reception has, did wolfbark not win it with like undead came runner up to sean did he? Oh, I thought he, he beat Shawnee, and then uh, the re it was rematched in the final after Shawnee won the losers bracket, oh. and Shawnee won the won the rematch in the grand final. Of course. Which is exactly what will happen here if Gayful uh, wins the grand final. So, uh, <laughs> or, or Wolfbark might lose a little bit of sleep. <laughs> he has to remember the score. He does have to remember the score. It's a tough one. <laughs> 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 oh, I just realised. Oh, sorry. With these top coaches, you know, there's just no, there's no chance that anybody of fit level would forget that kind of thing. I've heard rumours that uh, <laughs> that I need to confirm via VODs later on. I think. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Yeah, and obviously PTK can set up to stop the one turner as well, can't he? A little bit, so. Oh, not very much though, Jim. Because like, if he had all eleven, it's basically game over. But being down to nine, it's definitely going to leave Cruz for a little bit of a chance. Maybe he just sets up against Riot. Don't like this because this is a a quick snap's looking pretty horrible here because he can blitz through. Like a blitz yeah, through anyway, exactly. if he's in range. What I was thinking, I don't like when people set up like this as if it's a throw teammate, because, uh, yeah, you can blitz the gap. Oof. Yeah, you can blitz with one ball. Yeah. Yeah, you can blitz with one ball, run through the other. I guess it doesn't matter. Looking for the riot there. He needs a riot. What's he gonna get? Cheering fans, no broccoli there. Nope. Well, congratulations, PTK. Commiserations, Crucifer. Doesn't even try the one turn. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, congrats, PTK. And, what uh, a fantastic run against the meta uh, we're seeing with the Dark Elves. Yeah, in incredible. I mean, I, you know, it's it's unsurprising. PTK is the premier premier Dark Elf guy in, in the world, isn't he? But um, it's still impressive yeah, for sure because obviously everyone else in Blitz Pit is very good as well. I mean, yeah, Kayful's obviously phenomenal. He's been tabletop world number one for as long as I can remember, and he's excellent in res format. But, but that being said, he's gone against the meta here, and he has struggled in the Blood Bowl 2 tournaments. I mean, every time I've watched it, he's been incredibly unlucky. But he's struggled early in Blitz Pits. He's struggled early in CCL playoffs. Um, so it's really nice, actually, to, to see uh, how great he can play and it finally coming to fruition in a, in a Blood Bowl 2 format. I Absolutely. totally agree. I, 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 I've experienced that. You always kind of root for the guy. And when he makes it in CCL playoffs and whatnot, and it just, you know, he's as... Uh, as hard luck in the first round as a lot of people have been. But we have our grand final coming up in just a few minutes. Do not get out of your chairs. Do not go anywhere. Wolfbark versus k -Fog. coming up next. A Dark Elf Chorf match. You've never seen that on TV before. <laughs> never. And I should wrap up the YouTube time. video. I should wrap up the YouTube video. So thank you, everybody, for commentating. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.